a check washing scheme that might be linked to a post office in Merrick. Following a News 12 report, multiple people have now come forward to say they were also victimized. News 12's Kevin VC is live outside that post office with the very latest. Kevin, you were there last night and there again today because of all those tips. Yeah, that's right, Joe. This all began to unfold after that person told us last night about a check that he says was stolen after he dropped it off right here in this mailbox. Now, that story aired 24 hours ago. Since then, we've been contacted by several people, by phone, by email, and by social media posts who said the exact same thing happened to them at this very post office. And all of the victims, they thought that their checks would be secure because these mailboxes are fitted with these thin slots that are meant to prevent people from reaching inside. This is a huge inconvenience. It's fraud. It's costing a lot of money. Maureen McGovern is one of the latest victims to come forward in a growing check washing scheme at the Merrick Post Office on Fisher Avenue. She placed four envelopes containing checks in one of these outdoor mailboxes in late September. All of those checks disappeared. One was washed and cashed for $2,700. Another was cashed for more than $7,000. Maureen came forward after watching News 12 and seeing the same thing happen to somebody else. This is not isolated because it was the exact same location and the same story as mine. So I thought that the people in, in Merrick should know about this. It's not just my check, it's multiple checks and multiple thousands of dollars. This woman, who only wants to be called Sharon, also had checks stolen from this post office. One of hers was cashed for $6,800, and she still has not been reimbursed. I couldn't understand how it had happened um, because I had mailed it from the post office. Mailboxes at this post office have thin slots meant to prevent thieves from stealing letters. But law enforcement expert Dennis Monet says criminals are still somehow fishing them out. They found a way, as they always do, to maybe slide something in that little crack there where the envelope goes in and drops down, uh, maybe it's some kind of a, a sticky substance on a string, and then wiggle it back out. And the Nassau Police Department says they're currently investigating several reported cases of check washing, and they're working with the Postal Inspection Service on this. Now, if you think something like this may have happened to you, you should reach out to police right away. Joe? You know, Kevin, in your previous reporting, you said people should avoid writing checks with ballpoint pens that can be easily erased or washed and switch to those gel pens instead. Is there anything else people can do to protect themselves that, uh, out there? Yeah, so one key tip is to avoid using these outdoor mailboxes, even though they are at the post office and they're supposed to be secure. Instead, just come on over here, come to the door, go inside the post office and hand that envelope containing a check directly to a postal employee. You know, thieves, they know what bill envelopes look like, they know what greeting card envelopes look like, and they are looking for those, so it's best not to give them opportunities if you can.